How do we grow out for Christ? Firstly, we grow out into the community by serving the community. As we seek to serve the town, we realize that actually that becomes based on the words of Jesus. If we look in Matthew chapter 25 and verse 35, we read these words, familiar words. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I needed clothes and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came and visited me. And then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in or needing clothes and clothed you? When did we see you sick or in prison or go and visit you? And the king will reply, I tell you the truth, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. We begin to discover that serving our community as we grow outwards for Christ, is a gospel imperative. And the issue that we face is that the needs are so great that I believe that not one church can satisfy every need. And so the key to leadership and, and some of the things that, that we will probably as a, as a leadership team will discuss is what are the things we need to be doing? What is the anointing God has placed in this house to meet the need out there? And sometimes churches spend a lot of time doing all sorts of things with a lot of effort and a lot of energy and a lot of tired people, but we actually are doing the things that maybe someone else has an anointing for. And it's, sometimes we have to say no to good things. And that can be really hard because everything's a good thing, isn't it? Someone comes along and says, we want to bless or start this or do this, and it's just not something that God's placed in our house. And as I wander around the walls of this church, if you like that analogy, and, and walk them and see what's working and what's not, and, and, and Mike and I and the ministry team, we discuss and we pray and we go through and the board, and we, we just go through these processes. Understand this, that if the Lord closes a church department, it's so that something else can be put in its place. So, some things... I don't know why it is in church, and I, I hope I'm not upsetting you too much. A little bit of a niggle isn't a bad thing, is it? Make us think. But sometimes in church life, we thrash, we thrash a dead horse. You know, we keep saying, come on now, we're going to ride this thing, and the poor thing's a skeleton already. You know, we're just like, well, come on, you know, Silver, let's go. And, and Silver went to Jesus years ago. <laughs> My friends, sometimes we have to have the courage to lay down good stuff so that God can place better stuff. And I'm not scared of making those tough decisions. 